Okay, so we are going to work through a question from an exam uh, paper. This is the June exam paper 2019 question for, for the Eastern Cape. I want you guys um, to go to your learning paths, open up the question paper, and then read with me through the question paper. Question 4. So the solution is my own, but the question I'm just using from the question paper. In the diagram below, circle with, with center M, diameter GH, with G at 5, 0, and tangent HK, with point of contact H, as given coordinates. So those are the, those are, that's the information given. The very first question, write down the coordinates of M. Now, M is very easy to calculate uh, by using the, mid, the midpoint um, formula, how to get the center. So we are going to just do that calculation. So M will be X, H plus X, G divided by 2 and y h plus y g divided by 2. Remember to put your equal to sign before the m coordinate. Many times I see learners putting the equal sign in between. Remember, um, this is a single statement. So x for h is negative 1, and for g it is 5, and x for uh, y for h is 8, and for g it is 0. And then we can calculate, negative 1 plus 5 is 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2. 8 plus 0 is 8 divided by 2 is 4. And those are the coordinates for M. Let me just put it in my diagram. So 4.2 asks us to calculate the equation of the circle in the form. And then they give us the form, the, the center radius format. Okay. So uh, we have the... the coordinates of the center, 2 and 4. So the only thing we need to do is we need to calculate the radius so that we can uh, write down that equation. Uh, another way of doing, yeah, uh, there's other ways of doing this, but this is by far the easiest. So let's start by getting to the radius by using the distance formula. So I'm going to use the distance between M and G. Um, to get the radius. Okay, so this will be x g minus x m square plus bracket close bracket y g minus y m square. So this will be xg, which is 5, minus 2, square, with close bracket, next bracket, 0, minus 4, square. Okay, so 5 minus 2 is 3, 3 square is 9, and negative 4 square is 16. So this is 25, it's an easy one. The distance is 5. Therefore, our equation is x minus 2, close bracket square, plus next bracket y minus 4, close bracket square, equals r squared. Now r is 5, so this becomes 25. Now the question we've been waiting for, 4.3, determine the equation of the tangent hk. And as explained previously, our approach will be 
to get the gradient for this line and we know the radius and a tangent is perpendicular they're perpendicular to each other and that means we can get the gradient of the tangent and we have our coordinate we substitute that into an equation to get the straight line okay so very first step we are going to take is to get the gradient okay so I'm gonna use H in okay. so gradient HM is equal to YM minus YH XM minus XH now it doesn't really matter if we use HM or G or HG or MG or HM it really doesn't matter you can use any of those as a straight line you'll get the same answer as long as you do your calculations correctly ok so the gradient will then be Calculated as follows, so this is 4 minus 8, and then it is 2 minus a negative 1. I always advocate to substitute by using brackets, especially with a negative, so that you can trace to see if you made any mistakes. Remember that 4 minus 8 is negative 4, 2 plus 1 is 3, and that is our gradient. Now we want the gradient of HK and in order to do that we are writing down the following expression and saying that the radius is perpendicular to the tangent. Therefore the gradient of the tangent is 3 over 4. Okay, now the next step is substitution. And we are going to substitute H and the gradient. So Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. So Y minus 8 equals 3 over 4 times x minus a negative 1 therefore our final answer will be y equals 3 over 4 x and then we'll be able to do a calculation this is um, this becomes a positive 8 and that is 3 um, over 4 so 8 times 4 is 32 is 35 over 4. Okay, so the next question is to calculate the coordinates of J and you will see that J is on the x-axis so that we know that the y coordinate of J would automatically be 0 just as with G. So we, are, we can use the equation of the circle and substitute y equals 0 into the equation and then we'll get two answers we'll get 5 and the x coordinate of j okay so first up we are going to write down the equation of the, of the circle which is x minus 2 bracket square plus y minus 4 close bracket square equals 25 and we calculated this previously uh, then let's do substitution, substitute y equals 0. So let's do the calculation. x minus 2 bracket plus 0 minus 4 close bracket equals 25. So this becomes x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus 16 minus 25 and this would be simplified to x squared minus 4x 
And the 4 plus 16 is 20. 20 minus 25 is negative 5. And we already know the one answer has to be 5. And we can test this quickly. x squared plus x minus 5. x is negative 4. x minus 5. Therefore, x equals 5 or x equals negative 1. We've done our calculations, but we haven't uh, stated our answer yet. So now we have to state the answer and say, therefore, j's coordinates is negative 1 and 0. Okay, so the next question is 4.5, and they ask us to calculate the new coordinates of j if the circle is rotated around the center, uh, rotated 180 degrees around the center M. Okay, so here is our point of rotation right there with M. Now J is rotated 180 degrees. It really doesn't matter in which direction we go because it's 180. So we know that the new position of J will be there. Okay, so we are going to uh, use the following concept. Let's see what's the difference in x coordinates from j to m, the center. We'll see it went from a negative 1 to 2. So we had to add 3, right, to get there. Or the, the x difference there is 3. So j's new coordinates for the x will be from the center to add 3 and to positive direction because the center minus 3 gave us negative 1 so now the center plus 3 will give us the new one so it's 2 plus 3 it is 5 let's look at um, the y coordinates to go from the, the center m to j we had to subtract 4 units because it was 2 4 from 4 to 0 as subtracting 4 so you have to add 4. So from 4 plus 4, it will go to 8. And thus, that would be the answer for the new coordinates of J. Okay, so the last question, 4.6. Now they tell us the equation of another circle is given as the following. And then they say x squared plus y squared minus 12x minus 2y plus 17 equals 0. So this is the equation of another circle. And now they ask us, does the center of this new circle lie on, inside, or outside the original given circle? For 5 marks, show calculations to justify your answer. So my very first thing that I would like to find out is what is the center? Of the circle and we can complete the square to find that out. So let's start with that immediately. So it would be x squared minus 12x plus and as you know I'm leaving spaces open to fill in um, blanks and I'm immediately going to take the 17 across and make it a negative 17. Okay, so negative 12, uh, if that's our b value, b over 2 is negative 6, negative 6 squared is 36. So what I add on this side, I have to add on that side. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1, negative 1 squared is 1. So I'm adding a 1 on both sides. So, just indicate the complete square, so this will become x minus 6 square and this will become y minus 1 square and then our radius will be 37 minus 17 would become 20 so that's r square okay now we know the coordinates of its center so i'm just going to say new center new is 6 and 1. M 
from previous calculations is q and 4. We know for the original circle M, the radius was 5 units. So a very easy calculation we can do to de determine if this center is inside the circle is to calculate the distance between the two centers. If we calculate the distance and it is equal to 5, that means the center of the circle lies on top of the circle for M. If the, the distance is less than 5, it means it's inside the circle. If the distance is more than 5, it means it's outside of the circle. So that's the approach we are going to use. So we're going to calculate the distance CM. So XC minus XM squared plus bracket YC minus YM. So x for c is 6 minus 2 square the bracket and yc is 1 minus 4 square inside the bracket. So this becomes 4 square which is 16. 1 minus um, 4 is negative 3 square is 9 and you can see that it becomes a 25 so this means 5. So our conclusion is what? That is on the circle. So it lies on the circle. There you have it.